leaves, but when you need him, he is never there. Finn! Yes, Lori, I heard you were looking for me. Heard? Heard is an understatement. I was just mildly screaming at the top of my lungs. If that was mildly, then keep me away from the real screen. See, Finn, this is your problem. You should never get to the point where a woman has to. Yell at you and tell you over and over again to do the same task they asked you to do last week. Trust me, Lori, I understand women. I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't understand them. You are where you're at today because you don't understand them. You do realize the job of Cupid is to help those in need, not screw up so badly they end up forever alone. Uh, screw up so bad? What do you mean? Hey, that was a one-time thing. I didn't even think it was that bad. It was bad. You screwed up for a month straight. Hey, it was 28 days and you know it. <laughs> it was the month of February, a 28-day month. You had 14 days to get him a date, and then you took another 14 days to fix the mess, which I had to fix. Exactly. You see, I knew that if I left it to you, you'd fix the problem. Because I know women fix everything. Oh, nothing would have to be fixed if you didn't screw up so badly, which is why we need to talk about your next assignment. Another assignment? I just had one. Can't I take a break and do nothing? The last assignment you had, you did nothing and failed it. Hey, that last assignment, that guy, he had no potential with the women I tried to set him up with. He just wouldn't listen to my advice. Well, maybe you should rethink the advice you give. Or better yet, get others' opinions on how to help out with love. And then maybe you'll be able to earn your bow and arrow as an official Cupid. So, what's my next assignment like? Which poor sap are you giving me to work with this time? Poor sap? This is the kind of attitude that's going to cost you your next assignment. Cost me my next assignment? What do you mean? As of now, I, your official Cupid instructor trainer, will tell you that if you fail to pass an assignment, no more field work for you. You'll be forced to work the rest of your life in office. You don't mean online dating. Yup, that's right. No more field work for you. You'll be forced to work the rest of your life in office with all the other field Cupids and search the internet for people on every single dating website. And I can tell you now, the algorithm for love isn't an easy one. Well, the internet is filled with creeps and trolls and other people who don't take love seriously. <laughs> Which means you'll fit right in. <laughs> oh, shots fired. You know that was savage. It's called tough love. You should try it sometime. Now get up off your knees and let's go look at your subject. So, what's my next assignment like anyways? Can you be tall, dark, handsome? Have eyes that you can just get lost in? No. Eyes as fiery as the sun show his burning passion. No, 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 no. Blue eyes as blue as the ocean so he can sweep you away. Man. Yeah, I... that's the kind of eyes I like to look into. I worry about you sometimes, Finn. I really do. Now sit down. Stop just coming real soon. Seriously, he's late? Can't believe you made me wait like this. Look, like, is this my next assignment? Because this has to be one of the most attractive men I have ever seen. <laughs> First off, this is not your subject. Second off, this is a woman. You know the gender you're supposed to be helping your subject fall in love with. Women? Never heard of it before. Finley, sit down. Your subject is meeting this girl here. <laughs> Look at that guy go. Getting a cute girl like her, like that, out of nowhere with no my help. Oh man, this is going to be one easy press. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay, Lance, but look at you. You're all sweaty for your date. Why did you run here? It isn't like you're late. I wasn't running because I was late. I was running to work in my core. I bet that girls like abs. And for most mid photo shoots, male models make workouts make their abs stick out. Can't you tell? <laughs> oh, I can totally see them. You're lucky your shirt didn't rip off when you flex there. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. It'd be awkward going on this blind date shirtless. Then again, I could just win a rumor of my physique. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you seeing this? This isn't right. This kid thinks he's God's gift to women. He is flexing. He's flexing with nothing there to flex! <laughs> I, I can't help but know this is a lost cause. Hey, you fail your assignment. I think you misheard me. I said he is flexing and helping these girls out. 
because they will get lost in his muscles. <laughs> That's more like it. Now why don't you go up there and give us some advice before his date? Sorry, Lance. I know I promised this day I'd introduce you to a date, but I just got a text from David. He wants to meet me for coffee. You're fine. You can do this without me. I've shown her plenty of pictures of you, so she knows what you look like. Don't worry, Zoe. This is my first rodeo. Tell David I said hi after today. I'm ready to double. All right, I'll tell him. See you later. So, I have to find this guy. Uh, I have to give this kid some advice. But if I do so, I may freak him out by just appearing out of nowhere. Lori, I can't just appear out of nowhere, because then I'll fake the kid out. You should have thought about that before standing so close to him. I have an idea. I'm going to stand right here and observe him in action. Then I'll know what I'm dealing with. That's not a bad idea. Just don't do anything too rash if things go south. I can't make any promises there. Uh, I think I see a girl coming this way. Here's that moment of truth. Hi. You must be that I left so it has told me so much about you. Hopefully, she hasn't told you too much. Likely leave a little mystery for you to find out about me. Oh, I like mystery. It always makes you like a spy. You could be the next international man of mystery. You call me Lance. James Lance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How did you screw that up? So Lance, what did you want to do today? I was thinking maybe we get some Italian food. That way you get pasta, I can grate cheese on it with these abs. <laughs> I, I don't really like Italian. Well, if you don't like Italian, you can go to the laundromat. Okay. Why? I mean, you can clean clothes with these washerboard abs. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! He did the same stupid joke twice! Twice, Lori! Why? Oh my god, this is terrible timing. But I just got a message saying I need to leave. There's an emergency at my place. That isn't good. Can you need to with you? No. That is really sweet of you. But this is a personal matter. Again, I'm sorry, but I really have to go. Uh, no worries. I'm sure Zoe will just get in touch with you again some other time. <laughs> I have to give this kid some advice. But right now, I have no idea where to begin with this. you up here is that you look like a guy who'd seen better days. In fact, you look like a guy who knows what he's been through. Actually, that has never happened to me before. I could never imagine lifting my shirt like that or saying something so inappropriate to a woman. <laughs> well, that is good, because that means you have common sense. Which brings me to my point. I need some advice. Oh, I'm going to give you advice. What would you need? <laughs> we'll see how good you're at that. Because right now, I just want to go scream at him for being an idiot. Well, if I was in his shoes, the last thing that I need is for someone to yell at me. Instead, I need someone to comfort me because he knows he just got rejected by that girl, and rejection hurts. Comfort, hey? Because the way things are looking between us, this is more of a client advisor relationship, which means touching's a no-go. Any other ideas on how I can comfort him? Well, not every form of comfort has to be physical. Shut the front door! You really mean there's other ways of comforting people without physical contact? Yes, for example, you could- Hold that thought. I need to take some notes. Lori, do you have anything I can use to take notes with? I'm sorry, but you should have really came prepared. If you have a phone, try taking notes on that. You mean like a video? I think she means making a note. There's an app for that. App? <laughs> no thanks, I'm not hungry. Because who asked you, anyway? Why are you butting into our conversation? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to help. I need to figure out this problem before I move on to the next problem. Your problem is only making more problems for me. If you want to help, stand over there. Man, this taking advice thing sure is hard. Finn, you're only making it harder for yourself. First off, you should try to be a little bit more nicer to someone who's trying to help you out. And second off, you don't need to take notes of what he's saying. It's just common sense. Give your advice. You sit down with me. Come on. 
What I was trying to say earlier is that you don't have to touch someone to comfort them. Instead, try telling them something nice about themselves. It could be on what they're wearing or something that they did well at recently. As long as it comes from the heart, it'll cheer them right up. So, what you're telling me is to speak from my heart and be honest with myself. And then from there, I can compliment him and it won't come off as fake, and I don't have to touch him? Exactly. Be true and be open and you'll appreciate it much more. And yes, no touching is necessary. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, I think I got it from here. Uh, it'll still be a bit awkward since uh, he is my client. Anyway, you can head back to your seat. Thank you. You can go back to spectating. Now I gotta chew up this one. Well, I guess I should get going. Maybe I can meet up with David and Zoe and see how he manages to talk to the ladies. I saw what you did earlier with that girl. Uh, no you didn't? Really? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I can never forget the image that I saw. Although, I do have to give you some credit though. A girl that good looking and you walked right up to her and started a conversation with her. Most men are way too shy to even do that. Well, I guess if you put it like that, it isn't too bad. It actually makes me feel better about myself. Well, that is good. But it went downhill as soon as you lifted up your shirt. I mean, you tried to flex your abs. You, you don't even have abs! Girls don't always care about abs. And when you meet someone for the first time, you always keep your shirt on. It's like an unwritten formality. Common sense. Something you clearly lack. Well, I don't feel very comfortable if you're yelling at me right now. You're not comfortable? Stupid! Unnamed audience member number one. Comforting without physical contact. Really good advice. Works like a charm. Who are you talking to? That doesn't matter. What is important is why I am here. My name is Finn, and you may not believe this, but I'm here to help you get your first date and kiss. I've kissed someone before. Your right hand doesn't count. <laughs> I've been lied to my whole life. <laughs> okay, well here's what I'm thinking. I find you girls for dates. I give you advice before said dates. You use the advice, and you'll be locking lips in no time. Well, other than Zoe, no one's ever helped me try to find a girlfriend before, so sure, why not? Then help me find love. Finding love? That is pushing it. Getting you a successful date and first kiss? That's the goal. Aim well for this one and play it safe. How am I supposed to find this guy a date? Uh, hey, uh, anyone in the audience could help me out? Uh, oh, you! With the hair and face and plaid shirt. Can you come up here for a second? Pretty bright up here. Is it always like that? Yeah, but you get used to it after a while. So tell me, what's your big idea? Well, the key to success in my experience is the numbers game. Why settle for one date when you can set them up on multiple dates with different girls? I see where you're coming from with that, but we all saw what he just did. What makes you what makes you think he can handle more than one girl at once? He wouldn't date them all at once. <laughs> What you do is you find three different girls and you put them on three different dates separately. Then maybe he'll find the right one by playing the odds. You don't put all your eggs in one basket. You give him options and you give him opportunities. Eventually one of them has to work. It's a lot of probability. You know what? You're right. I don't know why I never thought of it sooner. It's such a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, I really can't wait to see how this all plays out. I won't let you down, Vanam audience member number two. Uh, now, I gotta go find nice a few dates. Well, I better hurry up. Do you think Lance would be okay with that us there? Do you want my honest opinion? Yes. I don't think he stands a chance. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Well, Dave, you know I hate it when you're right. I've known Lance my whole life, and I don't think he's a bad guy at all. That's because you're his best friend. You don't see him like other women do. I guess, but me and him talk fine with each other. In fact, he could be really hilarious. Again, that's because you're his best friend. 
Once you're put in the friend zone, there's no going back. And Lance was friend zoned by you, so his instincts went from primal to modern. He hasn't tried to hit on you or pick you up, so he seems like a normal guy. <coughs> All right. I just want to be happy. Well, I hope this one works out. Who is it? It's Lance. I guess the date's over. He wants to know when we are to meet up with us. He has important news to tell us. Maybe the date didn't go so bad and they're getting hit. Oh, trust me, I know luck. She wouldn't even kiss a guy until she'd be dating him for like a year. She's really reserved and can't send the whole PDA thing or anything close to physical contact. This one time, for a third date, a guy took her to the beach to show off to her. And as soon as he took his shirt off, she got really embarrassed and ran away. No way. Yes way, and now she can't even imagine seeing a guy without a shirt on until she's been with him for like two years. Lucky for us, Lance would never take his shirt off to impress the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zoe, David, not to believe it happened on my debt. Dave, I met a guy and he is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this actually makes sense. <laughs> I had no idea. Why didn't you just tell us? Yeah, there are so many guys I could have introduced you to. It actually would have been easier for you to meet them than all my lady friends. I don't know, David. This guy's done things no guy has ever done for you before. Lance, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Thanks, Zoe, I think. O-M-G. You know what this means? I finally have a gay best friend! This is like every girl's dream! But I thought I was your best friend. Of course you are, Lance. Don't be silly. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> then what's with this guy you met? Lance, what do you mean? I met a guy after my date. His name is Finn. He saw that my date went one to help me out. He can help me get my first real kiss from a woman and not my hand with lipstick. <laughs> I'm really confused right now. If it's about the hand thing, I can explain later. Speak of the devil. Guys, this is Finn, the one I was talking about. Well, this is gonna be awkward. Uh, sorry, Lance. I should have told you this sooner. Man, I'm always forgetting something. Lance, are you okay? Of course I am. Finn, what are we saying there? I couldn't hear you. I think Lance lost more than a girl on this date. Finn, why are you just standing there? Come say hi to my friends. Lance, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Your friends? Yeah, they can't see me. Only you can. And no, I'm not a figment of your imagination. I am real. On a cupid in training so that you can get your first date and kiss. And because of that, I made it so that only you can see me. Everyone else just thinks you're crazy. You have five seconds to come up with a good excuse to your friends. You don't see him. <laughs> Best <laughs> excuse ever. If I were you, I'd be. We should probably leave him be. He'll figure it out on his own. Trust me. I've seen worse. Worse than that? Do I have to remind you to hand kissing? Yes. This must be one great story. Let's walk and you'll tell me about it. Uh, hey, Lori. Uh, I'm gonna follow these two. This hand story has to be something embarrassing. Wait, Ben, I'm coming with you! Wait, really? Now, I wanna see what this guy could have done with his right hand think it was his first real kiss. Well, we better hurry up. We're starting without us. <laughs> so, have I gone insane? I don't think I have. But I am talking to myself. And to make matters worse, I'm answering myself too. Oh my god, I think I've gone insane. Uh, you haven't gone insane. Uh, who are you and is you real? Oh, I'm real and I have something to tell you. You may want to sit down for it. Lance, there's some things in life you just can't explain. Do you mean like math? Tell us what math had to do with numbers. And all of a sudden I'm solving for x, and x is a letter. And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm working on my can. And is that a sin, cos, I don't know. When did words become numbers? As complicated as math, maybe. This is not the case. You see, the guy you met earlier, his name's Finn. And I'm his advisor. Well, kind of. You see, we both work for a corporation that brings people together to match their soulmates. So 
So you're for like eat harmony, plenty of fish, or Tinder? Well, <laughs> kind of. It's, it's called Cupid. You mean okay Cupid? No, just Cupid. It's our job today to find you a date. Well, that's Finn's job. My job is to just evaluate him. So, all this is real, but only I can see it? Yes. Now why don't I bring Finn out and you two can have a proper introduction. Finn, could you please come out? Lance, I'm sorry, man, but who in the moment you were excited to have me help, but then I realized you know nothing at all. Oh. Well, I guess I can forgive you, considering you were trying to help me out. That, and I'm happy to know I'm not insane. Well, that's good, because I got a date set up for you in like, uh, ten minutes. So, uh, Lori, thank you. You can head back to your seat. Lance, let's go on a date. Finn, make sure to give Lance some good advice before his date. And Lance, the only thing I can tell you to, is to be yourself. Thanks. Finn, let's go. And remember, keep the shirt on. <laughs> they don't stand a chance, do they? <laughs> Hey, Lance, uh, you go on ahead without me. I just need to talk to someone for a quick second. So, I'm going to use the advice I got from the last person I talked to. It is all about a numbers game. I'm looking for any couples out there that could possibly help me for this moment. Uh, oh, scratch that. Couples tend to give the same advice. I know, I will choose you. And you. I like the fact that they're on opposite sides so that you can give me different opinions. Please, see? So, I think both of you know why you're here, so we can skip the formalities and get right into the advice. You know, you should really try to be more polite when you're asking people for a favor. Do you think we should just go back? That actually isn't a bad idea. This guy hasn't been very nice to anyone. Why should we help him? No, 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 no. You're right. You should be nicer when asking stuff from people. What's that word we're supposed to use when we ask for a favor? I think it starts with a P. You mean please? Yes, that's the word. Can you please give me some advice? Maybe. If you get on your knees and beg. And I want you to say pretty please with sugar on top. You're not serious, are you? Mm-hmm. If you could be so kind in doing me the honors of getting off of my stage and back to your seats. You really think I'm going to grovel to someone when asking for advice? I'll have you know I can do this on my own. Now go back and watch it the rest of them. You know what? I can't wait to see you fail. I'll be sure to laugh the hardest when Lance doesn't get a good date. Oh, and you won't be the only one laughing. I'm considering even coming up here and rubbing your face when you fail. Then you can hear us say, TOLD YOU SO! Oh, don't you worry. The last laugh will be had by me. <laughs> you hear that? That is me laughing last while you're sitting in your seats. Lance, and I'm coming and it's time for you to get a successful date. I really hope Finn gets here before my date. I'm gonna need some advice. Any minute now, Finn should be here. Any minute. Any minute. Oh, this isn't looking good. Lance, is that you waiting for me? He, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. What do I do? Should I ignore? No, no. I should play it cool. Cool. Like a cat. <laughs>
very hideous. <laughs> if I live now, will you be able to see where I'm going? I mean, technically, yes, it's you leaving that way. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lance, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't feel safe right now, so if you try anything or follow me after this date, there's going to be a problem, because you see my father? He's a cop. And although he doesn't approve of me going on these blind dates, I figured I'd have faith in society and try to prove him wrong. But now I see he is right. This was a terrible idea. And if you value your life, you'll not stop me after this date. Day in and day out, you will not stop me. And if you do, you'll be arrested on the spot. If you understand, then nod your head just to know for me. <laughs> you are not nodding your head. Do I need to repeat myself? Is that, no, I don't need to repeat myself, or no, you don't understand? Can I speak? <laughs> you mean teach me words wisely? Uh, you seem like a really nice person, but I think we're two different people. Why don't you just call it quits and never see each other again? <laughs> I think you said it best. Now, I'm going to leave, and you're not going to watch where I'm going. So turn around, count to ten, and let's just never speak of this again. One, two... Lance! Bye. You can stop counting. It's gone now. Are you sure? I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> yeah. I'm positive. Now, I don't know what I walked into, but did you really hear what came out of your mouth? I know exactly what I said. And you know what you said? You said you'd be here. And guess what? Right when I needed you most, you weren't there. Lance, I'm sorry I was late. I was getting advice to give to you on this day, but that advice didn't work out. Now I have new motivation. One that I can rub in the face of those two. What are you talking about? That, that's not important. <laughs> well, you do know your one weakness. You can't talk to women. No offense, you just suck. I wouldn't say that. No, no. You, you truly do suck. But if I could record you talking to women, you'd see how bad you are. Like, when I walked in here, you were on the ground, posed as a cat. <laughs> Did you really think that was normal? Even for a minute? Uh, in hindsight, no, not really. There's only one thing we can do. I don't have time to teach you how to interact with women. What are you going to do? Talk to me? Exactly! Now, I don't know why I never thought of it before. Now, only you can see me, which gives us a distinct advantage. All you have to do is listen to what I say and repeat everything, from the conversations to answering her questions. Then, you'll be locking lips with her in no time. I like it, but wait, is it kind of like cheating or lying to her? I don't see how this is cheating or lying at all. And then she's still getting to know you, and she's doing it through me. Yeah, I know, but like, if I'm not, you're talking for me, that means she's getting to know you instead of me. Lance, she isn't getting to know me, she's getting to know you. I'll just reword it in a way that none of your awkward personality tricks can <laughs> Oh, so you need to know me just about any of my flaws. Exactly, so don't <laughs> bother by it. Now just repeat after me, and you'll be fine. Okay, let's still keep sure. Here we go. These two seem to be perfect for a first date. I'm finally excited to finally meet someone normal. I've had no luck with dating in the past, so hopefully this will be a change of things. Okay, remember, repeat after me and you'll be fine. Shapir, yeah, Shapir. Go get it. Shapir, everything will be fine. Hi, I'm Chelsea. You must be Lance. Yes, I am Lance. It is nice to meet you. Yes. Would you like to sit down? Yes, I am Lance. It is nice to meet you. Would you like to sit down? Uh, yeah. Thanks for meeting me here. I know it's a little out of the way, but I love it here. The atmosphere is perfect for a first date. You know what? You're right. The atmosphere is perfect. But we'll have to remember this for future dates. You know what? You're right. The atmosphere is perfect. I will have to remember this for future dates. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? I meant it for future dates with you, on special occasions like anniversaries. I meant it with future dates with you on special occasions like anniversaries. Huh, that's so sweet.
So tell me a little bit about yourself. Big family, brothers, sisters, any pets? Uh, well, I have no brothers or sisters, no pets either. I'm pretty basic. What about yourself? I have no brothers or sisters, no pets either. I'm pretty basic. How about yourself? Well, I have a brother who can really get on my nerves, but really, what brother and sister don't play. And as for pets, I love cats. So I don't want to scare you, but I do own a lot of them. See? They're on my shirt. This is Perito, and this is Sir McWhiskers. Cats, typical female. They're so overrated. Cats, typical female. So overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap, you weren't supposed to hear that. Oh, crap, who's with to hear that? <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Shut up before you make it any worse than it already is. Shut up before you make it any worse. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like you should be the one to shut up. Concerning, I have said nothing wrong at all. I don't see any way out of this. You really just need to shut up and leave. <laughs> Any way out of this, please just oh. shut up and leave. <laughs> if anyone needs to stop talking, it's you. And I feel like you should be the one to see my spot. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, so now I don't have anything. Here comes Lance. This is gonna be our door that day. 
And if I'm going to be honest with you, he may actually die if this goes south. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to give you advice. Now, you need to be a man who takes charge during this. Because women need that. Now, try to do what I did to you to me. <laughs> oh, what was that for? You think I'm just gonna give it up to you that easily? You have to earn this body. Make that move out of nowhere? You're wrong. You need to be a gentleman about this. So you said you wanted me to take charge. <laughs> <laughs> a gentleman knows when to take charge. Remember, girls are soft and delicate creatures. Except for this one I'm setting you up with. She is strong, fierce, and will hurt you. What? <laughs> yeah. This wasn't really advice on if you can interact with women. This was more advice on if you can take a hit. And if you can take a slap from me, then chances are when she punches you, you won't be mad that I slapped you earlier. Uh, hey, uh, sneak of the devil, here she comes. I'm gonna go get some ice just in case you need it. Good luck. Hi, you must be Lance. Nice to meet you. I'm Evie. Wow, that's a... Quite a strong handshake you got there. Thanks. I pride myself on becoming a professional power lifter. Allow me to introduce you to Thunder and Lightning. And here comes the storm. <laughs> I would money upon that storm. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's no escaping this or cast. <laughs> I'll let you bring an umbrella to this storm. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there? I didn't hurt you, did I? No, not at all. You could do that all day and I wouldn't feel a thing. So, uh, I think about our date tonight and maybe go to the zoo. That would be wicked! The only problem is, um, I'm not allowed at the zoo anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, how come? Well, last time I went to the zoo, the zookeepers were really chasing me around all day because they thought these pythons escaped! <laughs> oh my god, please don't kill me! <laughs> wow, you're really scared, aren't you? For a moment, I am terrified. I lied earlier. That hit you gave me, it hurt. <laughs> huh. I never met a guy so pathetic and weak that he was actually scared of me. I know, but it's who I am. I understand why this date isn't going to work out. If I want to date a burly boy or some manly man other than some weak loser like me. Not really. I'm actually attracted to men I can overpower. <laughs> You're just my type. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't find your eyes, but I did manage to get you out of that.
how about that? I found an answer date! <laughs> now, uh, me and Lori have been talking about me getting my wings, as I'm an Al Cupid. But we have none left at the office, so we ordered some with Amazon Prime. <laughs> but, I will have to say one last thing. In your faces, Madam Audience Members 3 and 4, I told you so! Now, bow down to your newest angel of love. <laughs> <laughs>